Okay, um, hello again. Um, this time I'm going to show you how to make a sun like this. Uh, well, similar to it. Yeah, okay, now first, let's open up Photoshop. Okay, photo file, new. I've just made the, uh, the, the same size as my screen. And background contents is transparent. Okay, that. I just set that to fit this to fit to the screen. Um, okay, now without this layer, just name it background, and then over here to the paint bucket, make it black by clicking on this. Click on that, make our background black, and then click on this little button here to make a new layer above our background. Click on the selection tool. You can get to this by um, left clicking and holding. And it brings up different options. Goes the same with all these other ones down here with little arrow. Okay, now hold shift and left click and drag to make our our circle, our perfect circle. Now with this up, ready, window, brushes, bring up our brushes window, go to our brush tool over here, right here, and then up here, select a fairly large brush for now, and inside this, just paint it black. Now that's all black, you can see on here, and uh, select texture, go down here, click on rock patterns, brings up this window, and click on this first one, or you can use any pattern you want, and set the scale to 80%, and the mode to multiply, and then over here to our color picker, and we can select uh, a yellow, orangey color, um, add some brighter parts, like that, that's my clicking, and click on this color picker, bring it down a little bit to an orange, shrink the brush a little by about half its size, and then click and drag it, kind of zigzag you all over it, so you get kind of just a random pattern on it. Um, you can Get, just minimize that. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Because suns have sunspots. So bring the texture back up. And this time we'll use color dodge or color burn. It's really up to you which one you want to use. Different sunspots, different patterns, doesn't really matter. Um, brush is a little big. Shrink it down to about 100. Make sure this is black. Now when we spherize this, uh, anything that's on the sides here might get pushed back and hidden. So you can put it in around and try and hide them in the center. Well not hide, but put them in the center. And I just realized why well, this wasn't working either. Set the flow to 100%. Everything's um, preset from my old picture. Color dodge. I don't really like color dodge. Let's use color burn. Change the size of our sunspots by changing the size of the brush, which is simple enough. Just like that. And just around like that. Okay, now we can go filter, distort, spherize, 100%. Oop, blows it out. And we can do that again. As I find it, spherize. Um, in this one, this time you can do it at 20 or 50%. It depends on how round you want it. If you you know, want to really 
really round sun like that. 150% of spherizing looks pretty round, I'd say. And now that we've got that, we can go edit, cut, make a new layer, edit, and paste it onto that. We can delete our old layer now, because we're not going to use that. Okay, now with this layer selected, right click, go duplicate. Okay, now on this, right click again, go blending options, blend mode, linear dodge add, fill opacity, change this right down to zero. Now the outer glow, click on that, brings up this window. Now click on the little colored box, it'll come up with color picker, and we can choose our our glow that the sun's going to have, I'm choosing this orange color. While you're in here, you might as well double click here and copy this number by control seeing on it. Okay. And now in here, we can change the size of the glow. For now, we can just, you know, leave it around about that because we can, we're can we going to come back to this and change it later. Double click here, control V to paste in the same color. Now we're in inner glow, so we'll have the size again. And yet again, we, we're, going to, we're going to come back to this, so don't get too picky about how it looks for now. Um, okay, that's pretty much it for now. Okay, that. Now, um, we want to... Hmm, okay, running pretty slow, but that's okay. Okay, now that we have that there, we want to make the... This is the effect which is going to make it look really like a sun. So, click on the top layer, click on layer. Now with that layer selected, go to the paint bucket tool, make it black, make it all black. Now filter, render, difference clouds, and you can control F to change the pattern on it. And when you find a pattern that you think will look good, click on the drop down box when with the layer selected and go color dodge. And that's gives uh, our sun that flary look. And control F keeps cycling through different patterns. You can keep going till you find one that you really like. But I won't be too picky for the tutorial. That'll do for me. Now, um, as you can see, it's got that really kind of a straight edge here. And I don't really like that look, but some people might. It's up to, up to you, really. Um, I'll just move the sun down into the corner. Like, like that. And then click on our original layer and come over to the side, click on the smudge tool that's set to about 50% and a soft brush which is 80 pixels um, and now we did, now I'm just gonna kind of where it's kind of you know straight just kind of blow it out a little bit by smudging it If you want, you can use this tool to actually add large solar flare kind of a effects on it. And that gets rid of that straight edge around there. And you can, and if you press it again, it might drop with straight edges around here. Whoops, wrong layer selected. And we can keep getting rid of these. And yeah, that that's pretty much how you make a sun.